Dear brothers and sisters, first of all, we Muslims believe in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. We believe in his miracle birth. We believe in second return. Is all powerful miracles. And we love Isa alayhi salam and his mother Maryam alayhi salatu wasalam. Isa alayhi salatu wasalam was sent to Bani Israel. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Saf. وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْ مِنَ التَّوْرَاتِ وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدٍ Isa alayhi salatu wa salam told to Bani Israel O people of Israel O children of Israel I am the messenger of Allah to you to confirm what you have in Torah as a truth and to put you back on truth and reality. At the same time to inform you the good news of the Prophet, the last messenger which Follow me, and his name is Ahmed, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah mentioned, when the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came, people denied him, and they rejected their message. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu wa salam, he taught his people, and Bani Israel, the Tawheed, oneness of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him to reinsure, to reinstall the teaching of the Torah. But many rabbis and majority people of Israel, they denied the message of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Not only that, they become his very strong opposition. We should learn that Allah sent Isa alayhi salatu wasalam to Bani Israel to take all the innovations out from their religion. And to verify the truth and define the truth from false. Because so many rabbis and so many peoples yaktubuna bi aidihim thumma yakuluna hadha min inda Allah. They corrupt the, the Torah and they used to adopt certain things from their own. And they used to show them as a religion. They used to change the words and manipulate the evidences and hide something and show other They used to believe certain things and they used to hide other things. So basically, they mix their culture, their desire, their opinions within the teaching of Torah and Musa alayhi salam. It become mixture. The traditional religion. Now in that case, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Isa alayhi salatu wa salam to take Bani Israel out of their culture and their traditions and to guide them to truth the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Isa alayhi salatu was salam his teaching is full of wisdom and knowledge today I would like to share with you one small story 
which has so many lessons and so many mawa'id for us today. Once Isa alayhi salatu was salam was with his followers, he sent one person to bring bread from somebody. So he's supposed to bring four breads. But he was so hungry and he ate one of them. So three left. When he came to Isa alayhi salatu was salam, Prophet Isa alayhi salatu was salam used to know what person has ate and what he brought and what he left at home. That's in Quran. So Isa alayhi salatu was salam asked him, who ate the fourth bread? The guy responded and he said, O oh, son of Mary, there was only three, three breads. There was no fourth. And nobody ate the fourth. Well, that was not true. He lied. But Isa alayhi salatu wasalam did not argue with him. So they were walking. And Isa alayhi salatu wasalam saw a big mountain. And he said, By Allah, the one who controlled the mountains, seven heaven and the earth, I ask you to tell me who ate the fourth bread. The guy responded and he said, O oh, son of Mary, there was only three breads. Nobody ate the fourth one. There was no fourth to begin with. And they continue. Then Isa alayhi salatu wasalam passed by a river. And he said, by Allah, the one who control water, rivers, and ocean, the one who control life and the death, I ask you to tell me who ate the fourth bread. He responded and he said, O oh, son of Mary, there was only three breads, no fourth one, and nobody ate the fourth. Continuously lying. Isa alayhi salatu was salam continued in his traveling and they stopped under a tree to take some rest. And as soon as they sat under the tree, on the shade of the tree, Isa alayhi salatu was salam collect few um, little amount of sand. He make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that sand become gold. The guy was so shocked to see gold in the front of him. Isa alayhi salatu was salam said, I will give this gold to the person who ate the fourth bread. And he said, you know what, O son of Mary, I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you I ate the fourth one. But I forgot to tell you. There was four breads and I was very hungry and I ate the fourth. Isa alayhi salatu was salam said that I cannot work, walk with the liar and I cannot be friend with the liar. Here is gold as I promise is, is your and then Isa alayhi salatu was salam walked away. Pause here for a little bit and look at the story. The guy ate the bread but he was lying. And when Isa alayhi salatu was salam gave him name of Allah Almighty, the one who control mountains, the ocean, the life and the death, the most powerful, the most high, he did not get scared. He didn't say the truth. And as soon as he see the gold, he say the truth. Look at his love and his, you know, attachment to the worldly wealth. Subhanallah. This is the human nature. And sometimes when people run after 
dunya and its wealth, they don't care about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, and sometimes their religion and their everything become dunya. And that's exactly Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Ta'isa abdu dirham wa ta'isa abdu dinar. Destruction to the person who worship dirham and worship dinar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wailul li kulli humazatil lumaza, alladhi jama'a ma'alam wa addata. Woe to the person who run after wealth and he collect the wealth and he count it every day and he worship it. Do not pay zakat. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives and we spend in his sake for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when somebody forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and run after dunya, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, dunya goes far from you. And if you care about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then dunya comes to you wa hiya raghima. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned,